This tutorial is designed to accompany Appendix D using Excel to solve enzyme kinetic problems. I'm working on problem one. I've completed table two. I've completed the line nest function data analysis, and I've calculated the errors and the slopes and the y-intercepts, both in the presence and the absence of the inhibitor. The next thing that I want to do is to construct a line weaver bird plot. So I will do that by inserting a chart, and I want a scatter chart. Uh, this is just data and no lines. The next thing that I need to do is I need to select the data. So if I right click anywhere on the chart and choose select data, and then I'm going to remove what Excel chooses for me and add what I wish to myself. So I will choose add, and this will be the data without inhibitor. The x values are the reciprocal substrate concentration. The y values are the reciprocal velocity without the inhibitor and then I hit OK. Next thing I need to add the data with the inhibitor. So here I type with inhibitor. The X data again are the substrate values, the reciprocal substrate values, sorry, and the Y values are the reciprocal velocity with the inhibitor. And then I hit OK. If I hit OK again, Excel will give me a plot that I can position, and I will then need to do a great deal of formatting in order for this to look like a line weaver bird plot. 